How's it going everyone and welcome back to Dipscovery. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of this, the new Senna SRL Mesh Intercon System um, for the Shoei GTR2, JO2 and the Neotech 2 helmets. Okay, so this has been quite a long ask from uh, people who have got the GTA 2, Neotech 2, because the Senna SRL 2 system, which I reviewed earlier in the channel, if you want to check that one out, links in the description, um, is getting on a bit now, and it doesn't have a lot of the new features that the newer Senna and Cardo systems have. Stuff like mesh uh, communications, as well as the better speakers, because the SRL 2 speakers that I found weren't the HD speakers, and they weren't made by JBL or like the Cardo ones or uh, Harman Kardon, they were quite rubbish. So they've upgraded that with the new Senna SRL Mesh, it's quite a new product. You've got, uh, uh, this is a box of it here, so quite understated, not much information on here. There is a Senna, new Senna motorcycle smartphone app as well. The old app doesn't work with the SRL Mesh. So there's a new app there that you have to download to get all the features out of this here. So let's uh, unbox this now. You get the uh, box there presented to you pretty much the same as the SRL2 was with the tray there showing you everything you get inside of the uh, uh, system. Um, so as you can see here, we've got the full array. It's quite similar to the SRL2. The main differences are it's got two additional antennas that go to the side, which is for the mesh system. Um, and also one of the biggest upgrades that a lot of people have been asking for is to the speakers. Now they're being powered by Harman Kardon. So they are gonna be uh, hopefully a lot better sounding speakers than the previous versions, uh, which were quite basic, basic and they weren't very bassy, they were quite tinny, quite flat all around. So the new Harman Kardon system, I'm expecting a lot better results there. Um, in terms of the actual buttons, uh, the buttons on the main center where you turn it on plus minus and the center button, exactly the same as the SRL2. The main difference is on the other side, you have a new button, which is for the mesh communication uh, sync, which is on there. And that's where the Harman Kardon logo is as well. So pretty cool stuff. Um, also, they've changed the charging method as well. Slightly faster charging because now we're using USB type C connection on the charger. Whereas before it was a micro USB cable. So uh, again, they're bringing it a bit up to date. Um, with the uh, newer standards of charging as well. So let me just take this tray out and then we can have a look at the accessory pack. So inside the accessory pack, you've got your standard quick start guides um, that you'd uh, expect to see. All of this information is also available on the Senna um, Motorcycles app as well. You uh, get uh, information about the Wi-Fi adapter, which is something new that you get with it as well, which is included in the accessory box, and I'll go into that in a second. So that's all your manuals there. We've also got the um, accessory pack here, which comes with everything else you need. So um, what's interesting to note is you don't actually get uh, this time a uh, charging cable that's uh, uh, like a normal charging cable because this one is actually a Wi-Fi adapter. So what you get here is a cable that's USB to micro uh, type C connection that charges it, but it also acts as a Wi-Fi connection as well. And it gives you a bit more information if you can see here um, with the Wi-Fi battery charging indicator, all that kind of jazz. And the idea is you can actually connect it to Wi-Fi through the Senna Motorcycles app and it will automatically update the firmware for you so you don't have to plug it into a computer and do it the old school way. So that's quite a neat thing that they've included there. And then obviously you've got your standard stuff like your boom mic, your integrated uh, mic for the helmet piece and some spare uh, uh, dead cats there. 
So I'm gonna be doing a quick install of it into my GTA 2 here and then see what that process is like. It should be exactly the same as the SRL2 one was like, which if you probably saw in my last uh, video, if you did watch that. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take it on a ride out and then we'll see what it actually performs like. All right, so I'm gonna install the system into my GTA 2 here. So it's a good thing to keep on hand the showy uh, pin lock and cable routing tool, which you would have got with your showy inside the box because it makes uh, pushing down the uh, cables and all the little uh, grooves a lot easier. So let's get to it. Okay, so the new part that you get in the mess version that you don't have on the normal SRL2 is this section here, which is for the mesh antenna, but it's actually quite flexible as well. So my idea is, because it has got this kind of L shape here, is put that where that groove is there and have it underneath the cables. So let me just grab it here and then I'm gonna have it on the inside of the helmet like like that but trapped in between there so that's the plan and then you'll put this bit on top of it So after a bit of persuasion, I got mine to look like this. So the, that's the mesh system there in between there. And then this little tab is on top with the cables tucked on the sides there. And I've also tucked this cable behind this clip for the foam cheek pads gonna go. And then this is just gonna go there with the cheek pad on. So I'm gonna carry on with the other side and then, yeah, should be ready. guys okay so here I am with the Senna SRL mesh system now if you saw my uh, uh, review that I did last time of the Senna SRL 2 you uh, you'd know that I'm, I was very disappointed with the audio quality of the Senna SRL 2 and that was mainly because the audio quality was just crap the speakers were crap they were unbranded speakers but they weren't even the hd speakers that actually come in the center 20s um, and you just don't get uh, your money's worth considering it was a 220 pound unit now the center srl mesh obviously you saw earlier it comes with the harman kardon speakers um, and if you don't know harman kardon actually own jbl as well who make the speakers for cardo system which is quite interesting so harman kardon is the the next one up um, but uh, i can tell you already it's night and day difference than, than the uh, center srl2 system it's a hell of a lot better speakers you got a lot better sound stage um, you can hear the sound um, you know transitioning from left of the helmet to the right of the helmet very well the bass is a lot better as well it's a lot more noticeable um, than it was on the SRL2 and um, it's uh, it's just a, a miles better system um, a bit more fiddly to set up because you've got those mesh antennas to fit in place but they're not too hard as long as you take your time with it um, and the uh, SRL mesh um, obviously you've got the new latest center mesh quantum um, technology uh, in there which is great if you've got other people with center uh, headsets you know so you can use the mesh intercom system with them um, it's got that as well as an added bonus um, and you can also able to use um, the latest center uh, mesh um, app as well on their phone so this doesn't use the same app the SRL2 does uh, so the SRL2 uses the same app as the 20S and the older units like that for the new Quantum series. So that's the Senna 50, is it 50K 
uh, this one, the Astral Mesh, anyone that uses the Mesh technology uses the new app, which is a bit more intuitive, uh, a bit more nicer to use, a bit more simple, it's got a bit more features on it as well, which lets you tune the um, settings of the SRL Mesh uh, on the phone, so you don't have to bother doing it um, kind of, uh, you know, all, all through the... Uh, a computer or through uh, the headset itself uh, in terms of feature wise it's got everything else as you'd expect um, that the previous one has so you still got that google voice assistant ability if you press and hold the uh, the middle button in for two seconds you can use google assistant or siri um, which is pretty cool to dial your numbers one thing i have noticed is that they've removed the ability to do center voice commands so um, on the 20s um, you could do like uh, you know what was it called hello Santa and then it would say um, say a command and then the command you could be like um, you know check battery which would tell you what percentage the battery's level is at or you could say something like um, speed dial 1 or speed dial 2 and it would automatically ring whoever you've got speed dialed in um, now that functionality has actually been um, removed from the um, uh, the SRL mesh. Um, oh, what's this guy doing? Are you turning right? Always oh, waiting for these pedestrians. Uh, so yeah, the uh, that functionality has actually been removed, which is quite unfortunate because I actually like using that for speed dialing because it works better than the Google Assistant because um, you can say speed dial one. Um, but you know you can set your speed dials obviously in Google Assistant and stuff like that but that's you know something that's uh, external instead of using it in the in the center utility um, so yeah um, other than that um, it's the price the price is too expensive in my opinion um, so obviously the SRL 2 was already an expensive unit at 220 pounds right so the SRL mesh is 330 pounds it's like an extra 110 pounds very very expensive piece of kit and um, uh, all you're actually getting realistically is the mesh technology um, the new app and the um, uh, better speaker system and to be honest like I think it should have had all that for for the 220 pounds that you're paying for the SRL 2 system so I think it is quite overpriced but it is a brand new system it's only just come out um, but it's the best one you can get for your GTA 2 I mean the show is already expensive helmet so maybe you feel like it's worth it worth it but if you just shelled out 450 500 quid for a GTA 2 you know it basically makes it a 750 pound helmet with all the equipment on I mean that's not including my uh, action cam setup so it's probably like over a thousand pound helmet I've got on right now with all the gear on it um, so it is quite an uh, expensive outlay um, but to be honest if you want the best and you plan on keeping your helmets for you know the full uh, five years and you do a lot of riding that you plan on using it for then I'd say it's uh, you just just get it because you'd be disappointed with the SRL too um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys um, I hope you like my unboxing review and setup of the SRL mesh if you uh, got any questions please let me know in the comments um, you know and I'll be happy to answer them for you uh, if you want to know about my motor vlog setup all the links are in there in the in the bottom this is the first time I'm trying it out actually it's just a new setup with the Insta360 and the Purple Panda mic um, so yeah, um, let me know what you think and um, I'll catch you on the next one.